arrests. A spokesperson for the security firm that's cut a deal to house prisoners at Hardin Jail says filling the jail is not its main objective. Color 8 Sarah Gravely has the details. The jail in Hardin has been empty for about two years, but on September 4th, officials with the Two Rivers Authority Economic Development Agency signed a contract with a private police firm called the American Police Force. The contract will fill the jail. I think it's, it's a great situation. I have found these people to be absolutely wonderful community partners. The company's website states the U.S. government is their biggest client, but an Associated Press search of two comprehensive federal government contractor databases turns up no record of American police force. Several media agencies have also identified inconsistencies with the company. For instance, their website states that they have years of experience, but a company spokesman says the corporation was just formed in February. They also list an address to a building in Washington, D.C., but no one at that address has ever heard of them. Two Rivers officials say that doesn't bother them. At this point, that does not concern me. Uh, I've been in contact with uh, enough members of uh, the ATF and uh, their representatives. A spokesman for American Police Force, Captain Michael, who would not give a last name, says they have never had experience housing prisoners in a jail, and that was not their biggest attraction to Harden. We didn't really want to get in prison business. But we were actually interested more in training center. While he can't specify exactly what they will be training for, the company says it investigates everything from missing persons to insurance fraud to cheating spouses. Al Peterson with Two Rivers Authority says they're excited to have a military presence in a town without a police force. APF has already put down what Captain Michael calls a substantial amount of money. They'll be in town next week to start filling about 250 positions, 80 percent of which will be hired locally. We will bring city of Harding back on their feet. Reporting in Billings, Sarah Gravely, Color 8 News. Two Rivers Authority officials will present the information at a city council meeting in Hardin tonight at 730. However, they have already signed a contract and do not need council approval.